क्वेश्चन सिक्स ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज से प्रूव दैट द सम ऑफ द स्क्वायर ऑफ द डायग्नल्स ऑफ अ पेलोग्राम इज इक्वल टू द सम ऑफ द स्क्वायर ऑफ इट्स साइट सो लेट्स ड्रॉ अ फिगर टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सो हेयर्स अ पेलोग्राम ए बी सी डी दैट आई हैव ड्रॉन एंड लेट्स ऑल्सो ड्रॉ द डायग्नल्स ऑफ दिस पेलोग्राम सो वन डायग्नल इज ए सी एंड द अदर डायग्नल इज बी डी so we have to prove that the sum of the squares of the diagonals so sum of the squares of the diagonals is equal to the sum of the squares of its sides so what we have to prove let's write it here is that the sum of the squares of the diagonals which will be ac square plus bd square this sum is equal to the sum of the squares of the sides which will be ab square plus bc square plus cd square plus da square okay so this is what we have to prove now to prove this result we are going to use something that we proved in the uh, previous question of this exercise let me recap that for you let me recap what we proved in the previous question um for that observe this figure that i have drawn in which pqr is an arbitrary triangle and ps is the median from p to the opposite side qr so basically qs and sr they are equal so the result that i am referring to says that if you add pq square and pr square so if you take this sum pq square plus pr square this will be equal to twice of the square of the median drawn through p so twice of ps square plus half of the square of the opposite side uh, opposite side opposite to p so the side opposite to p is qr so half of qr square okay so let me recap uh, let me repeat this result once again if we take pq square and if we take pr square and add these two uh, squares we will get twice of ps square the square of the median twice of the square of the median plus half of the square of the opposite side so this result is what we are going to use um to prove what we have to prove in this question okay so what we are going to do now is we are going to apply this result to triangle uh, so observe the figure carefully i am highlighting some triangles in the figure on the left so we'll apply this result to triangle abd then to triangle abc then to triangle bcd and then to triangle acd so we will apply this result that i referred to from the previous question to these four triangles that i highlighted okay so let's begin so let's take this uh, point of intersection of the diagonals to be the point o so because abcd is a parallelogram the diagonals ac and bd they bisect each other at o so ao will be equal to co and bo will be equal to do so this is something that we can assume okay now let's apply this result the that we talked about first to triangle abd okay so in triangle abd so because o is the midpoint of bd we can say that ao is a median for this triangle correct so the sides ab and ad contain this median so this median ao originates from the uh, vertex a uh, which is common to the sides ab and ad so if we take ab square plus ad square then according to our result that we saw this sum should be equal to twice of the median square so twice of ao square plus half of the square of the opposite side the opposite side to a is bd so half of bd square okay then let's go to triangle abc and apply the same result so in triangle abc bo is a median from b to the opposite side ac so in this case if we take ab square plus bc square the sides originating from the vertex b if we take this sum 
this will be equal to twice of the square of the median so twice of bo square plus half of the square of the opposite side which is half of ac square okay then similarly let's go to triangle bcd so in triangle bcd uh, we have co as a median because o is the midpoint of bd so co is a median so in this case we will have bc square plus cd square the sides uh, common uh, the sides originating from the vertex c so bc square plus cd square this will be equal to twice of co square plus half of bd square okay and then finally we will apply this result to triangle adc so in triangle adc uh, do is a median from d to the opposite side ac because o is the midpoint of ac so therefore if we apply the result to this triangle we will get cd square plus ad square cd and ad are the two sides originating from the vertex d so cd square plus ad square will be equal to twice of do square because do is the median from d so twice of do square plus half of the square of the opposite side so half of uh, ac square okay so these four results uh, follow by applying these four equations that we've written they follow by applying the result from the previous question to each of the four triangles that we saw now what we are going to do is because we want the sum of the squares of the four sides in the result that we want to prove we are going to add these four equations that we have written so let's call this equation one let's call this equation two and then this is equation three and let's call this equation four so we are going to add these four equations so what will we get if we add these four equations on the left side we have a b square and a b square twice then b c square and b c square twice then c d square and c d square twice so a d square and a d square so a d square is also coming twice so let's write this so by 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 by adding the four equations we will have on the left side we will have all the side squares repeated twice so twice of a b square plus twice of b c square plus twice of c d square plus twice of a d square correct now what will we get on the right side so let's go back and see what we have on the right side so on the right side we have twice a o square and twice b o square twice c o square twice d o square and we also have half b d square and half b d square that will add to b d square and then half ac square and half ac square will add to ac square so let's write this sum on the right side so on the right side we will have twice of a o square plus twice of b o square plus twice of c o square plus twice of d o square and then we have ac square and we have b d square okay now if we observe the terms on the right side carefully we have 2ao square and 2co square but ao and co are equal so if we write 2co square as 2ao square then these two terms will add up to 4ao square correct so 4ao square and then similarly if we take 2bo square and 2do square and bo and do are equal so if we write do as bo then we will get 4bo square and then we have ac square and then we have bd square okay and now 4ao square can be written as twice ao whole square and 4bo square can be written as twice bo whole square and then we have ac square and then we have bd square but now what is twice ao twice ao is simply ac and twice bo is simply bd so this term the first term is ac square which will add 2 ac square to give us 2 ac square so 2 ac square and similarly uh, this term the second term twice bo whole square is bd square and bd square plus bd square will be 2 bd square 
okay and now if we look at the left side the in the left side we have two the factor two common to uh, all the four terms and on the right side also we have this factor two common to all the two um, two terms so we divide by two on both sides okay divide by two on both sides so then on the left side we will get a b square plus b c square plus c d square plus d a square and what will we get on the right side on the right side we will get a c square plus b d square so on the left side we have obtained the sum of the uh, squares of the four sides and on the right side we have obtained the sum of the squares of the diagonals and we have proved that these two are equal so this is what we had to prove and this completes question number six to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers